Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about Container Corporation a very interesting company for which a lot of demand for a video had come in so let's understand whether this is a long term play or not so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about before I talk about container corp his small request that kindly support me on patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel it will help you also ask me questions on a daily basis once you get the ten dollar membership you will have access to my portfolio a renewed watch list which have stop losses and targets for you and which will get updated every seven to ten days uh, access to a number of podcasts that I put up at least one podcast every two to three days for detailed market or company talk or a number of stocks you are holding for analysis uh, you can directly email me and we can work things out now about the company established in 1998 uh, Concor is a public sector firm and helps in express cargo delivery through Indian Railways. It is a part of Ministry of Railways and the market cap of the company is around 22,000 crore. So a larger mid cap you can say is what Concor is. Looking at the financials uh, then uh, uh, this is Q1 FY21. Q2 numbers are still not out so if you compare it to last year then there has been a sales dip of 28 percent and understandably a profit dip of 80 percent with 49 crores of pat versus 225 crores it is a virtually debt free company with good dividend yield return on equity of around 9.1 percent net profit margin of 24 percent very high government and institutional holding with only two and a half free float this is extremely pro uh, positive that most of the holding are with either government or with the, you can say institutional investors this is one of the very few government companies government owned companies or public sector units that i would say i'm positive on if you look at the performance then results have been strong but for last quarter the results have continuously been strong quarter on quarter consistent dividend payouts have been given by by concord and it has increased as with all government firms across the board uh, stock had done really well from 2014 march till october 2019 so four four five five and a half years of good performance and then the decline started to take place and eventually we saw in feb march the huge fall so corrected 55 percent from those highs till march end I have recovered smartly from those lows so it is up 50 60 percent from those lows and it has been consolidating in a range and now probably in the last uh, you can say two three weeks it is coming out and breaking out i would say attractively priced if you look at from a three to five year time frame perspective because currently the business is at a very difficult stage and once things normalize things would be much better for concord and numbers would kick in big time features it is a market leader and a monopoly in the space so this is cargo delivery across india and it is a market leader in this railway because in railways currently we don't have any private players in cargo delivery maybe few years down the line we'll have it but at the moment it is probably the only play uh, have corrected appreciably since 2019 as i have just explained and although there have been an up move that has taken place recently still the stock is down and results have continuously been good so this is a company that has continuously shown 15 20 percent uh, you can say top line and bottom line growth and this is a consistent player in this market uh, profit margins are at good levels so there is no reason to fear that whether the margins would suffer because of being a slightly a monopolistic kind of a business uh, prospects really look bright when things normalize so probably in a year's time as i explained with autos and auto ancillary especially for railways and and even irctc come into the same embed uh, probably in six to nine months time from june july next year 
things could stabilize and that is my understanding of what has been happening here in india uh, strong promoter holding as i have just explained and this is also a huge positive that no not many retail investors are there so in even in fear there would be more buying in the stock rather than huge selling as we have seen with other sectors in which retail investors are big time holders if you look at the technicals uh, then the 200 dma is around 415 and the 100 dma is around 400 so there is a congestion zone just uh, about three to four percent from the current levels uh, that uh, uh, concord will face so probably above 420 or so one can get in if somebody is looking for a short term trade uh, but for long term players any declines towards 350 360 levels are good levels to get into probably keep a stop loss at 280 and just hold the stock i don't think 280 will be breached so easily so hold it and buy again at 300 and so between 300 to 360 is a good buying range in concord and uh, hold for four or five years can give you decent returns of around 15 18 percent so what needs to be done in my opinion buy as an sip over the next six to nine months and it's a portfolio play so it's not going to run up like double triple in just a year or so or two years but it will give you consistent 15 to 20 percent cagr maybe 17 18 percent over the next five six years keep on doubling every four and a half years or so and, and that would be uh, my assessment keep accumulating on major declines it's a decent company will give you decent returns over four to six year period but may not give you huge return over the next one year because of the kind of situation that railways are going through so this was my video on concord please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching